In this video, we're going to be using two different slicer programs, Cura and Simplify 3D. Um, we're going to be printing two identical prints using just only the basic settings, um, and then we're going to be com comparing the results. Uh, all printing is going to be done on the Ultimaker 2 Plus. So firstly, we'll open up our Dreamo keyring in Cura, and we'll make sure the settings are just set to sort of a basic standard. So the layer height's at 0.1, shelf thickness at 0.8, top font thickness is at 1.2, uh, fill density at 20, and print speed at 50. And now we're just checking through the layers in Cura, just to make sure there's no errors. But that looks pretty good. Okay, and now we'll load up the keyring into Simplify 3D. And when we go into the edit process settings, we're just going to go to the auto configure print quality and select high. The infills at 20 to match Cura, and we're not going to go into the advanced settings for now, so we're just going to keep it basic. So we'll save that one out. And now, just like Cura, we'll go through the layers in Simplify 3D, um, again, just to make sure there's no errors. Okay, so here we are printing away. We've got Cura on the left and Simplify 3D on the right. Um, we're focusing on this part um, in particular because the gap between the legs is quite difficult for the printer to print. Um, but as you can see, uh, Simplify 3D is doing a really good job of keeping that nice and clean and tidy, whereas Cura is having a little bit of trouble. So here's a close up of that area we were just watching being printed. And as you can see, Simplify 3D has done a really good job of keeping this nice and smooth. So here's the second problematic part of the print. Um, at the very top is a spherical shape. Um, and it looks like they're pretty even at the moment, but we'll just uh, see how these turn out. Okay, so those sections are done, and as you can see, uh, Cura's had a little bit of trouble in coming away from the print, whereas Simplify 3D has really kept a nice form. Here's another close up shot, this time at the back of the model, um, and this is where we got the text and a rather large overhang, which Simplify 3D has handled really well. Here's a few shots of the final models. Um, as you can see, Simplify 3D has really stood out. The quality is fantastic and we really haven't even started to play with these settings. As you can see from this basic test, Simplify 3D is a fantastic addition to your 3D printing process, offering you cleaner and more accurate prints. If you'd like to find out more about Simplify 3D, click on the link above. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.